And it's a pity you didn't stay with me because we could get our own back next year in the league. Next guest, ladies and gentlemen, speaking of Mead, will you please welcome from Ballon Lock, Mr. Jody Devine. <laughs> Representing the Anglo Celt and our local radio station, Northern Sound, Mr. Sean McMahon. <laughs> One of the real stars of the future, no doubt, and he's shown it already at underage level. Will you please welcome Garold McKiernan. And finally, another of the all-time greats. There were three of them. I think there's two here tonight. Maybe the three is here, but there's one definitely here. We're speaking to one now and one in a few minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, Peter Riley. <laughs> Jody Devine, living in Ballinloch, was there a ferocious rivalry up there? Ah, there was. was uh, you had, I suppose, Derek McDonald and the McDonalds playing with Rammer, and then there was Gary and Martin and Hugh McDonald. All the one family play with Ballon Loss, so there was always a fierce rivalry with Mead and Cavan. My own first cousin, Jimmy Riley, played for Cavan under 21s when they got to the All Ireland final back in 1987 or 8, whenever it was down in Longford. So there was always a fierce rivalry on the border. When you look at the way Mead play, when you look at the way the approach matches, this never say die attitude, is that just instilled in these players? Yeah, it's just it's, it's what we were brought up with, I suppose, with the team of the 86, 87, 88 team. It was just never say die attitude and it just carried through to everybody else that played for the, the, the following 10, 15 years after that. You know, we're just we're going through lean times at the moment, but hopefully that'll come back again, you know. That never say die attitude was very evident again last Sunday with the Mead Miners. Yeah, and the Mead Miners, you know, they probably missed a few chances early on, but I, I think they were lucky in the end. I think... Uh, in fairness to Mayo, a couple of very poor refereeing decisions uh, let me back into the game, but th they took their chances and they're in the final now and hopefully they can go on and win it. Seamus McEnany was there for a period. Would it be fair to say that Mead football is probably in a better place now than it was when he went in in the first instance? I think it was. I think the county had a bit of a lift there to get into a Leinster final. I think the victory over Kildare gave the whole county a lift. The likes of Donald Kyogen has emerged as a, not, not Calvin's Donald Kyogen now, but we have a Donald Kyogen who's a good footballer. Uh, and uh, he's emerged as probably one of the best footballers that's on the underage scene this year. And uh, hopefully next year, whoever gets in there will, will be able to build on that. Gerald, it's been an absolutely fantastic few years for you. I hope you're finished growing as well. Uh, it's been a fantastic few years for you. Um, it's up to a new level now. It's... A new year, new season. It's been great for you, really, hasn't it? Oh, it has been, yeah. It's supposed to, on the rage, it's been very good. But then, when you look at the last probably 12 months, it was a bit of a wake up call for most of the boys my age. Like, the setup is a big step up to senior level, and so I'm going to take a lot of hard work for boys to push on now. Now, you have been successful at minor underage level, and the process will be now to try and implement what you've learned at that level, at senior level, along with probably more established players. Oh, that's it, yeah. It's about getting the right mix of youth and experience and we have the right management team in now, so hopefully in the next year or two we'll see real Cavern be back to the top and doing well. And there seems to be loads of positives when it comes to getting the training and coming back from matches, which is obviously good, so Terry and his backroom team has obviously hit the right buttons. Oh, they are. I said I think the right buys are in place, but everyone has to go the same way and hopefully we'll all push on and Cavern will be back to the top in a few years, hopefully. One of the great footballers, ladies and gentlemen, Gerald. Peter Riley. What, do you want me to stand up? No, Just for the benefit of people who do not know me, I am standing. Peter, looking back at the success, did you think in 1997 that you'd have to wait as long, maybe before there'd be success in Cavan again? In 1997, I didn't think of it at all. I, uh, sure I was a young lad, so I looked at Mickey Gray and go by me there. Um, he's a bit faster now than he was then, they will tell you. Yeah, and he's, not, he's a wee bit leaner as well, actually. You know, <laughs> He didn't put on any weight. And he has a big date in September, and it's not an All-Ireland final. No, M Mickey is up for hanging. It, it took a long, long time, but Mickey's up for hanging. And we're all going to go down to a the slow. We're even going to bring Reardon with us as well. And a few lunatics from around Calvin Town and see him being home. And when is the horse fair in Ballinasloe? 
Mickey knows more about horse fairs than I know because he's living around Cavan Town a long time. I know nothing about horse fairs. Tell us about this bunch of young footballers that's coming through. You've been involved. They're good. Yeah, they are absolutely good. But Garoud nailed it there earlier. It's it, 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 it's all about uh, what you put into it, and hopefully they'll put it in and get it out. But uh, there's no guarantees. Under 21 minor successes does not translate automatically to senior success. But um, I'd far rather have the successes that we have at underage behind us than not. So uh, hopefully the future is going to be fairly bright. Would it be fair to say the foundations are there, though? Oh, absolutely. As I said, uh, without that success, you'd be looking at a very bleak future as where we are at senior level at the minute. But with underage success behind us, you'd hope that them, them boys are going to translate into something good in the senior setup later on. Sean McMahon, if we can turn to you for a minute. Um, you have been travelling the length and breadth of Ireland, reporting and broadcasting on matches, and you're desperately crying for success too, I'm sure. I am indeed. Uh, good evening everybody and welcome. I've been coming into the Meadowview for the last 25 years or so and I want to everybody here to give Declan, Claire and Natasha a big round of applause. I think this is a fantastic occasion. Well done to the Sheridan family. Great initiative. When I come in here for lunch most days, I meet Claire Sheridan and I usually put the order to and Claire comes over it momentarily and she says are you enjoying the lunch and I said certainly am um, she says do you want me to peel the spuds for you that's not the kind of service you get in the Gresham I can tell you that's the kind of service you get here in the bed of you I was just thinking on the way here tonight that if we all have been a was here or Michael O'Hare or a few of them from the past we just want to reminisce a bit so imagine if we all have been a hurtig was here tonight you're very welcome here. Welcome to the Meadowview Inn. We're delighted to be here. I'm delighted to be anywhere here tonight. The great Donegal players, Anthony Luogue, as I called him many years ago when he won the 1992 All Ireland final, he made the steps up in Croke Park. I counted them up one, two, three, four, five, and six, and he made it to the top. I hope the Donegal captain will be doing the same in a couple of weeks' time, and all of Donegal, I'm sure, will be hoping for the same. There's action in Clonus. Let's go over to Michael O'Hare. Well, Ballo Yerov Galera Kajak has fallen over the lower body, and welcome to St. Chanix Park and Clonus. It's the men of Cavan playing the men of Anthem here today, and I see Gabriel Kelly down there grabbing the ball down on the right here, right half back for Cavan on the right full back on that occasion. There's a streaker coming on the field, and the guardian are covering up there. They're making quite a good job of it, and they're taking off the helmets and the caps there. They're still not succeeding in covering up, but the streaker is heading out now towards the far side of the field. Great excitement, and that's what GA and Kenny Games brings to the people around Ireland. I think we'll take a break there now and hand you back to Owen. Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, Sean McMahon, thank you very much indeed. And let's hear your applause as well for uh, Jody Devine, Garrett McKiernan and Peter Riley. And we'll have somebody up very shortly, Sean, doing you. Is that all right? We'll have somebody up doing you in a little while. Marty. Hi, on.